Hi, I'm James from Kanga Motorsports. Today we're going to talk all about AM fittings, the different types, the different sizes, how to use them, and then we're going to build some hoses for the race car. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about AM fittings, different types, different uses. Uh, we'll go through a few of the different sizes. So, perhaps the prettiest ones that stand out straight at first are these red and blue ones. Um, as you can see, they come in a variety of different sizes. This is a dash 12. These are dash 8s. You can see they come in straight fitting or 90 degree bends. Or you can even get things like 45s, uh, 120s, anything you really want. Um, segmented angles. Uh, these basically have a nut with a fitting. So you unscrew it, as you can see. You squeeze the hose over the top of this. This will clamp down on the hose, and this clamping force in here will drive the hose, spread it out, and that will hold the hose in place. On the opposite side, you see a swivel mount here. Um, this is basically to bolt up to another Dash 8 fitting, and that tightens down. So making these hoses, they're a little bit more work. You have to make sure the hose seat's right. Um, it does use the braided hoses, and so these are very useful for areas where you want to use braided hoses on the car, um, high temperature stuff, um, you're worried about wear resistance, things like that. So that's those types of fittings. Again, they come in a variety of different sizes, shapes. You can see here. And those screw down. Now these, these are similar in type, but these are more of a push lock. So basically they have a barb, you push the hose over, the hose comes down, seats into this little channel here, and then you tighten down. Um, people use clamps on these. You can see these come in also a variety of different sizes, different angles. So this is a straight, it's 90 degree. These are dash eights. You can see these dash sixes here. This is also 45 degree. So once they're tightened down, you can also add uh, these little clamps and so these can come in they can clamp down on the hose and then make sure that it doesn't come off often you don't need these clamps uh, but some people add them especially in high pressure applications or where they're worried that the the hose isn't going to hold or they just want to make sure it's a, a you know cheap insurance basically so this would go over the hose the hose squeeze down and then you clamp this in place so these are those type so these are often called push lock hoses and then these are for the braided hoses here. Now those are types of fittings. Other types of fittings you see, um, there's these bulkhead fittings. Basically they have a seal on here. So say your uh, fuel tank or your um, uh, bulkhead wall of your engine bay or whatever you want to pass through. You put your bulkhead wall here through the center with a seal on it, tighten this down and that would create an AN fitting on both sides. This is the Dash 6. They come in a variety of different sizes. Again, this is the Dash 8. These fittings can also be screwed in. You can have different types of fittings. For There's the uh, male, female side. This is kind of a nifty little thing. They have a little FET port here, so you can uh, screw in a little sensor or uh, like a pre water pressure sensor, water temp, something like that, and you can access it here. Um, Kind of handy little things, especially handy for fuel cells, things like that, to have these bulkhead fittings. And then from there you can tighten down your fuel fitting. Other types of fittings you'll see, um, these go uh, transfer from say an MPT fitting in your engine block or in your cylinder head or something. And these would go out to a dash six fitting. So you can use these in a variety of different places. Um, Similarly, you have an MPT to a barb, so if you just have a normal push-on hose that you have like in an OEM manufacturing or in your, your standard everyday car, push the hose over the top and clamp it down. Those can be converted. These are handy if you have multiple water lines, so these T's, so these are dash 8 T. You can get in a variety of different sizes, different dashes on different fittings. And these are useful for uh, teeing off water lines to the block, for instance or uh, oil lines if you have an oil cooler and things like that. 
Um, and so these are used in a variety of different places. You can get uh, different styles of tees and different angles as well. You can get even, even larger tees. You can have little fittings that are adapted. So 45 degrees, say you have a remote oil filter and you need some clearance in order to tighten that down. Then you use a fitting like this. So these are the different types of fittings. This is what we use uh, on a variety of different cars. Right now I'm about to start building some hoses for the race car. So we'll talk a little bit about the hoses. So these are all the fitting types. We'll move those out of the way and we'll get onto the hoses. So these are the braided hose I talked about. This is a nylon braid. You can get stainless steel braid, which is your common silver ones you see. So these would go, you would push, cut a nice clean edge here. Um, you want to make sure you don't crush the hose when you cut it, so things I like to use are very sharp brand new razor blades, things like that. You push the hose down, seat it perfectly down into this collar, push the collar in, and then tighten down and crank down on this. That will wedge the, the hose open and prevent it from pulling out. So that's where you'd use braided hoses, for instance. So these would be used on, say, oil lines on our race car, we use these types of hose. The other type of hose we talked about previously, this is just a uh, high quality fuel hose. Now this hose is uh, great because it's compatible with E85, the rather ethanol based fuels. So you can use it with a variety of different fuel types. Um, has a high pressure rating too. So this is a great type of hose to use for things like fuel systems and stuff. So this is the type of hose that you would push into these fittings down. Same again, you push in here. So you want to push it down through, cut a nice clean edge again, use a razor blade, uh, use a cutter, make sure not to contaminate the hose then when you're cutting. You'd slip this on, push this down, make sure it seats fully, come back, clamp, clamp this down and you're good to go. So those are the types of hoses. You can kind of see the different types of finishes. Um, different types of strengths. They also come in a variety of different sizes. We talked about a variety of different hose sizes. So this hose here, you can see, is a much larger hose, it's dash 12. So this would be the hose that corresponds to this fitting here. So screw off this, seat the hose in this, and then what you see is that this will push the hose outside over it and clamp it down. So this, is, this goes in here. Gives you a nice thick thing. Screw this down, and that would tighten down this hose and hold it in position. So that's how that fitting would work. Different sizes, different types, depending on what you're using them for. Um, and now, let's get started. We're gonna be able to race car hoses. Okay, so time to start making hoses. I'm using dash six hose. I'm building basically one of the fuel lines for the race car. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Uh, so let's measure out the hose. I measured it out previously, roughly, and marked it with my white paint pen there. So we've got the right size hose. Put the measure away. Now what I like to do is I like to grab a real sharp, brand new razor blade. I want to make sure I'm not pinching down on the hose and I want to cut cleanly through it um, straight up and down so I get a nice even finish on that so it will seat right. So I'm going to force the razor blade in and just cut through the hose like so. There we go. Nice clean cut. Uh, there's a little bit of a bit there, but other than that, uh, we didn't crush. You can see we didn't crush the end of the hose, which is real important. Uh, you can see it there, nice and round. So we're good to go, ready to start making our hose. So let's get started. So the next step of the process, we need to put the fittings on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna protect the fittings. We're going to use uh, vice drawer clamps. So these are basically aluminum. And what they'll do, 
This will hold the fitting in place without marring the surface. It's exactly what we want to do. So let's tighten that down. Hold the fitting in place. So, like so. So we got our fitting nice and tight. Don't crank too much. You don't really want to crush the fitting. You just want to have it nice and tight in place. You've got your nice, fresh, clean cut piece of hose that you cut last time. So you're good to go. So you're going to come in. You're going to basically press down, push this down on to the fitting. And this fitting is going to go past the barb. It's going to seat on this nice little collet. And then from there, you're good to go. So before we get started on that, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of our lubricant to the fitting just around the edges just a little bit you don't want to go too crazy that'll just help the hose get on and then we're also going to add a little bit on the inside of the hose just one or two drops so we'll get that out the way and then we're going to slip our little clamp over the hose and then we're just going to press down so press down Get it all the way down and seated. You'll know when it seats. So press all the way down. So there. You got a good seat on it now. There we go. A nice good seat on that. Press it down. And then we're going to hold the clamp just in place. And then we're going to come with our clamp tool, which basically just binds down on the clamp. And we're going to clamp this in place. Now, what we want to try and do is clamp it. So it's not going to slip past the barb. So we're just going to come in from the side here. Try not to get in your way with it. So you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to come in and just clamp that tightly in place. Like so. So now I've got a nice solid hose. So take that out. See the fittings, perfect, not scratched up and marked. And we got a nice tight hose fitting here, ready to go on the car. So all we gotta do, make the other end, and then we're good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna cut new hoses. Uh, we've got the hose measured out here to length we want. What we do is put some masking tape around the edge here, get ready to cut it, load it into the vise clamp. Don't go too tight, you just want to hold it steady in place. So this braided hose has a nylon braid on the outside, but in, inside of it, it has a steel braid. This makes it hard to cut with just the razor blade, so we're going to have to use a quick cutter to cut through this. You can cut these with like electrical cable cutters, or I'm just going to quickly use a grinder with a cutoff wheel on it. The other way you can cut it, um, I've seen done, is with a uh, very sharp chisel and then you basically hammer down on it. Um, you can crush the inside of the hose, uh, that's the disadvantage of that method, but with this method the disadvantage is you get lots of little particles and uh, grit and stuff that you do not want in your hose that will go onto your engine, so you just have to clean out and flush your hoses uh, after they're assembled and done, so make sure you do that. Um, so let's get cutting. Uh, make sure you put some safety glasses on for this and your, your grinder and you're just going to cut nice and neatly through the hose. Like so. It gives you a nice little cut. The little bits here on the edge you can just clean up sharp die cutters. So. Now the best way to cut this is probably to use one of the bigger um, wire cutters that can cut through high gauge electrical wire. You get a nice clean cut and stuff. 
but what you will see is you'll get little bits of debris into the hose so make sure you flush and scrub out the inside of the hose a little pipe cleaner would be good now we're going to use the cable cutters to cut the hose so we use the masking tape try to get it in place line it up nice and straight cut through and there you go as you can see it kind of crushes the hose a little so you've got to squeeze it a little bit just to try and make it round again or use another tool to try and make it round like a screwdriver so what we're going to do is peel off the masking tape and then we're going to push into our fitting here you can see it's got a little bit where it seats at the bottom so you're going to twist and push in the hose and get that so to start that off put the end into our vice clamp Here in our vice clamps, there we go. We peel off, peel off the masking tape here on the hose, so we get a nice clean edge. And we're gonna basically push down. So I'm gonna add a little bit of thinning lubricant here, just to help, just a little bit. And I'm gonna push and twist as I go down into the fitting until it bottoms out. So there, nice and bottomed out. Fitting's in place. Take that out of the vise here. So we've got the little fitting bottomed out with the hose there. Then we're gonna get the other part of the fitting. Put the hose down for a sec. Put the other part of the fitting. Put it into the clamps, like so. Nice and snug. Put a little lubricant here, not too much, on the edge, just to get the hose in. And then we're going to start this by hand to put the fitting into place. You don't want to strip these, so I'm going to try and get these in with hand. And then as you go down, make sure you're putting force on the hose too until it starts to engage and you'll feel it starting to get tight as the barb squeezes over the internals of the hose. Now there's a couple ways you can tighten these. Use your standard hand wrench just like so. Tighten around uh, or you can use a tool like this. Tighten down, clamp it and then spin it around. I'm just going to use the hand wrench for now and tighten it down. So you want to make sure when you're as you're tightening down you're still forcing down on the hose like so. Tighten down. Make sure it's seated and then let's check Nice clean fitting in place. Hose is nice and tight, and we're good to go. Now all we have to do is fix the other end and get it on the race car. <laughs>